Hi y'all, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing some items I picked up from Shein. If you're interested in seeing what I got and how it fits, then stay tuned. So I have filmed two hauls today and I am a very disabled person so I'm extremely tired if my energy seems low or I look like a hot sweaty mess. I am a hot sweaty mess. Um, I also had surgery a couple weeks ago so you will see scars here and on my neck. Um, I have not been in a knife fight, it's just from surgery. Well I guess I've been under the knife but not in a knife fight. Um, so anyway. For size reference, I am a Torrid size 6 in the bottom, a size 30 in the bottom, and I am more of a 5 or a 6 on top depending on the fit. And I tell people my Torrid sizes simply because if you're in the plus size community, especially the extended plus size community, you probably shop at Torrid or have tried on some of their clothes and are familiar with their sizing. So I am 5 foot 4. And with all of that being said, let's just jump straight into the haul. I'll try a little bit different of a format for this Shein haul. I did the same thing with my Torrid haul. I'm not sure which one of those will come out first, but I want to show you the item here in my hands as well as in a snapshot off to the side so that you can get uh, really good information about the product. And I don't forget to tell you about the details. So I'm going to start with the item I'm wearing. It's this really, really cute dinosaur alien t-shirt. This is a poly cotton elastane blend. So it has a little bit of that cheapy kind of almost a shiny feel to the cotton. Um, it's not, it's not like the poly feeling, um, fabrics that are like really gross, gross and slimy. This is still a cotton blend, but the graphic looks like a heat press iron on, um, rather than like a full on screen print. So I'm not sure how many washes it'll last, but I really, really love the print. I even like the fit. This is not quite long enough where I would personally wear it with jeans, um, just based on my own comfort level. But I think wearing something quirky like this with a skirt um, and maybe even a blazer or a jacket for work would be really cute. Overall, I am very happy and this is one of the items that I will be keeping from this haul. The next item I have to show you is a beautiful golden yellow um, dress. It's about knee length, so a lot of times I wear these with leggings or rolled up jeans and uh, sandals. And if I were keeping this dress, that is in fact how I would wear it. Um, the color is beautiful, the cut was ample. Um, I really enjoy the pattern, however, it's made out of that poly blend. Um, this says 95% polyester, 5% elastane. So it would be great for not clinging, and it is nice and thin. However, this fabric in the summer can be really hot. Um, I wish I wish Shein would keep making some of their items in natural fabrics. It seems like maybe they're exploring that. I know it would add just a little bit of cost to each item, but pockets would be nice, natural fabrics would be nice, or at least blends of natural fabrics. Um, but overall, you can see the fit. The buttons on the front of this are faux. They are not real. Um, the sleeve was perfectly comfortable. This is not a stretch fabric and it did not have a stretch waist, but um, the cut was was perfectly ample. The next item I'm showing you is another kimono um, or a duster. This one is in more of a hip length. As you'll see in the try-on, it didn't quite fit across my hips, but I still think it's a cute and versatile piece that would be great for summer layering. This is 100% viscose. So it is light, it feels like a rayon. It has just a little bit of a crinkle to the fabric. Um, it did get wrinkled in the pile while I was waiting to try this on. So it's probably not something that's gonna pack very well. However, if you did take this on a vacation for a cover up or to wear or whatever, and, and it you know, came out of your suitcase looking like a mess, I do think this is the type of material that you could spray down and let the wrinkles kind of hang out. I think that that would, I think it would do really well. With that so this also comes in several other colors i think it came in a black a brown and maybe like a watermelon -y coral type of color so next item i'm showing you is a gorgeous little dress um, this is an eyelet or a broderie anglais uh, fabric with some lace detailing around the edges um, this one is definitely nicer than i expected it has a poly lining 
all the way down. It is not a stretch fabric, but it was cut really nicely um, for my particular body size and shape. Um, I thought it was pretty cute. And if I needed a white knee length dress, this is certainly one that I would keep. And had this been full length, I definitely would be keeping it. Um, the fabrication is 100% polyester for the lining. Actually, I think the top is polyester as well. The um, eyelet portion of this feels like more of a cottony uh, type fabric, so I'm a little surprised it's polyester, but um, if you are someone who gets hot with polyester linings and you didn't mind layering, you probably could cut the lining out of this, at least in the skirt portion. Um, it has a couple of faux buttons in the front, um, but this has a lining like a placket behind it so there would be no show through. Overall I was really impressed with this. It's one of the nicer things that I've picked up from Shein. The next item I'm showing you is a really cute top from Shein. This one was in a lace bodice and lace sleeves in a baby doll kind of shape with a clip dot fabric at the bottom. Um, this definitely has a baby doll fit. I was really impressed with it. I like how lightweight it is. This material is a little stiff almost like what you would expect from um, a tablecloth. Um, but I love the pattern. I don't mind that it has kind of a tablecloth look. I think it's really cute and, and old style, like vintage style. Um, it had a plenty ample sleeve, um, fully unlined and transparent. You can see my tank through, through the top in the video. Um, the bottom of these is clip dot as opposed to a Swiss dot because it actually has a texture. It's like a clip in the fabric. So it has really, really great texture when you see it in person. Uh, to me, it looks a little more expensive than it was. This might be something that I keep. It is machine washable. It says do not dry clean. Um, it has a couple of nice bust darts. Overall, I was impressed with this one. I think it's a really cute design and it may find its way into my closet. The next item is another versatile piece. If it's something you're looking for in your wardrobe, I do recommend it. It is this uh, vest that's more tunic length. It's cut like a blazer. It has a single button in the front. It is unlined, and my only gripe with this is that because it's unlined, the, um, the fold-over material in the front kind of has a tendency to peek out and look a little cheap. Um, I may keep this simply because I love this and I've been on the hunt for something like this, but I'm not sure this fits the bill. Um, this is really stretchy, if that's uh, something that appeals to you. It has a seam all the way down the back in the middle. It has a couple of side seams, a couple of fake pockets in the front. I think if maybe I use some iron-on um, interfacing, here to hold down the uh, placket in the front and maybe change the button. This might have a little more appeal. Um, overall, I was pleased with the fit. I think it is a versatile piece. Again, like I said, I think this one is polyelastane. Yeah, this is 95% polyester, 5% elastane. Um, overall, I think it's a solid a solid option if it's uh, in your budget and something that you need to complete your wardrobe. I think I would wear this a little more casually with uh, jeans and a fun shirt. Um, I don't think this would make its way into my career wear. The next item I have to show you is a real winner, I think, uh, in terms of Shein. It is this black dress. I'm sure I'm showing you images and video from the try-on. This has a really cute puff sleeve that's not too long with elastic at the end. It is an ample elastic, so I think even if you had an arm bigger than mine, this still would fit you nicely. It has a really open sweetheart neckline, a zipper in the back that, that um, I think just goes down the bodice and into the skirt a little bit. So yeah, this has a really deep zip if you needed it. Um, the fabric has just a little bit, let's see if I can show you, has a little bit of a shadow stripe um, to it. It's not exactly a texture, but you can see um, that it has some variation 
in the print that uh, has a really cute ruffle at the bottom i think the fit was great this is really comparable to like a size six from torrid um, if it were lined i would be over the moon it is 80 percent viscose and 20 percent poly it's a different poly than polyester is this polyamide is that how you say that um Nonetheless, uh, it's a smooth feeling fabric with no stretch. Um, I think it is cut exactly to the measurements that they listed. Um, that's something that I find Shein to be really consistent with. When they give you measurements for a certain size, I really think that's what you get when the item arrives to your home. So um, this fit exactly how I expected it to. I think it was traditionally flattering and if it were lined or if I needed it, this is something that I would keep. The next item I have to show you is a beautiful bold blue dress. The pictures did not do this one justice. I was really pleased with the quality and I just love the rich color. Yeah, it's, it's just a really, really bold blue. Um, I found the top to be just a little too open for my needs, um, my top portion of my body is a little smaller than the bottom portion of my body. So sometimes sleeves like this kind of come off. Um, fortunately, this is, a, this is a dress that you can wear off shoulder. I think I showed it just tucking my bra straps off to the side. Um, the particular bras that I wear are back smoothing, so they have kind of that ballet cut in the back. So I believe you can see it if you can't. Um, that's great, I haven't seen the video yet, but um, I'm really impressed with the overall workmanship and style of this dress. It is 100% polyester. Um, it is consistent with the measurements that Shein provided on their uh, website. The fabric has a slight crinkle to it. I think you can see that. Um, this would be a great dress for a summer event or a graduation if you still have that in your future and overall I do recommend. Next item up, are you tired of hearing me say that yet? <laughs> the next item up is a white dress from Shein. This also was a winner if you are looking for a dress like this and you don't mind the polyester fabric. Um, it had a really nice fully elasticized top that you could wear on or off the shoulder. I think I was wearing it off the shoulder in the video. Um, it has a really great puff sleeve that's fully elasticated on the bottom. A smocked waist that uh, is really nice uh, bust enhancing, I would say. Um, the skirt and the top are both fully lined. I left my I left my jeans on under this, um, number one because of laziness, but number two because I wanted to see if it was transparent. So I've not seen the video yet. I'm not sure if it was transparent or not, but um, if you're looking for an event dress, I'd say this is one uh, that might be for you. The nice thing about that poly fabric is that it usually does not cling and it resists wrinkles. Um, however, it can be kind of hot. So if you're going to an outdoor event or a beach wedding, well, I guess you wouldn't wear white to a wedding unless you're the bride, but this might be something more for indoors if you get hot easily. It was consistent with the size measurements provided on the website. I think if you're on a budget and you're shopping for a white dress, this is a really nice romantic look and feel. So it is a winner in that regard. The next item I have to show you is a paisley and floral print uh, tunic top. This was almost more of a fall shirt in my opinion, um, but it was still cute. It has this little cuff at the end of the, the bat wing or dolman sleeve. I'm not sure which one this is. It is just cut so incredibly wide. The sleeve end, this cuff is binding and it's not very big. I was comfortable in it because it, in, it goes quite a ways down the arm before that cuff happens. But if you have really large arms, this might be one to skip. It is consistent with the measurements that Shein provided on their website. It is fully polyester and unlined. In fact, this dress, excuse me, this shirt feels a little like the lining that would come in something. Um, it doesn't feel like the greatest quality and it's gonna go back, but the colors I think are pretty and the design was cute. 
Um, it has no pockets or anything special that I need to point out really. So if you, again, are trying to fill in your wardrobe, it is um, consistent with the photos and the description that Shein provided. So in that case, it's a win. Next item is the last clothing item I have to show you. It's another really cute dress with a romantic feel and a romantic floral print. I was impressed with this to be polyester, that it had such a nice feel. It is very interesting to me that polyester can come in so many different um, feeling fabrics. This particular one has just the slightest amount of elastane in it to give it the kind of stretch that makes you comfortable when you sit down, but I would not consider it a stretch fabric. Um, it is fully smocked across the back. Fully, fully smocked. So this gives you a lot of variation in the fit if you have a larger or a smaller bust. The only thing that was not ideal for me is I'm a little smaller on top than the bottom and I found the straps to be just a little wide set where I have a feeling they would want to keep falling off. Um, if I really liked this dress, I think in the back here, let's see if I can show that. I think the back is something where you could detach where it is um, meeting the back of the dress and move it inward. So even in the front, if it was out here a little ways, it would kind of go in more to where it, it attaches in the back. So um, when you buy an inexpensive dress like this, I think it makes alterations even more justifiable if it's something that will bring you joy and enhance your wardrobe. Um, I liked the length of this. I liked the color i think when i was looking at the app i thought this would be a little more peachy where instead it's kind of a rusty orangey color um, it is still really pretty i think it would look great with a jean jacket or with a little t-shirt underneath an interesting thing about this dress is it's lined from the waist to about the mid thigh with a stiffer poly material here that almost has like a non-stretch cottony type feel um, I think they do that to give the skirt a little fullness, and uh, in fact, it, it did work. I felt like the skirt had a little bit of fullness. Overall, I think if you need a dress that style and it fits your budget, um, I think it's a great option. The last things I have to show you from Shein I did not try on. It is shoes, and I did not feel like putting my feet on the internet. The first one I have to show you is a slide-on espadrille type flat um, this guy here so this they say is in a size 43 I do not think that's a euro 43 it's probably a Chinese 43 which is a little different I think um, this really fits like a size 10 so it's just a little bit long on me but what Shein shows about their shoes is the same that they show about their clothes. They will give you an exact measurement. So the first pair of shoes I ordered from them, I looked at the measurements, I took my best guess. It has a measurement called ball girth, which means how, what is the circumference around the ball of the foot? So for me, with a slightly wide foot, that's the measurement that matters. And in this size, I think the ball girth said it was like, 9.3 centimeters or 10.3 centimeters I think 9.3 for me that was wide enough in this in the larger sizes that that I knew it would work for my foot um, these fit really great they're not the highest quality but they have a fully rubber sole which I love this uh, rope kind of espadrille detailing I love the frayed edging on this canvas they fit great and I am literally going to wear these today as soon as I'm done filming this video. The other pair of sandals I picked up in a 42 because it was the biggest size they had available. Um, this is definitely a cheap shoe, but I am so in love with the look. It's really unusual. It's this gold kind of cage sandal. Look at that. This is really, really neat. Um, again, I was able to see the ball girth measurement on this. I think it was like 9.2 or 10.2. I can't remember which set of measurements um, applied, but um, yeah, this is really neat looking. I recommend having a pedicure when you wear these because it definitely draws attention to the feet. Uh, so I was not quite ready to wear these today, 
but um, they were comfortable and they will get some wear um, in my wardrobe. I doubt you could walk very long in these because they are slippery on the insole and the upper, gosh, I need my nails done, but the upper is made out of this really plasticky um, material, so I doubt they'd be very comfortable or very forgiving, and I have no idea with a lot of walking if my toes would try to start coming out up here but uh, the sole on this one too is also completely rubber which I quite like I have no idea who is the manufacturer of this shoe um, but I'm really impressed with it so um, I will leave links to everything I ordered so if you also wear about my size which is a nine and a half wide in regular shoes a nine from Torrid and occasionally like a nine and a half or a ten from a place like Target if I buy a traditional with shoe but for the most part when i measure my foot i'm a nine and a half wide if you look up these shoes that i've linked in the description box you can see the measurements there for the ball girth and that will give you an idea then when you look at other shoes on their website or in the app that'll give you an idea of whether or not that shoe is actually going to fit for you so that's the best sizing advice i can give you for um she and shoes i've been disappointed with a couple that I've ordered in the past. Um, I had some boots that were really narrow and really hard on the sole, so I got lucky with these. Um, they fit great, they're perfectly comfortable, especially the Espadrille canvas uh, mules. So it's kind of a crapshoot, but it's worth checking out. That is everything I had to show you for the Shein haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was useful and educational for you. As we all know, shopping at Shein can be a little bit hit or miss. I'm not overly fond of fast fashion brands, but in this size range, it is an option that's available in the marketplace where there are very few options available. Shopping at Walmart and Target and H&M and Goodwill and places like that, Vintage, is not really an option um, in this size range. So as much as I would like to be smaller in a normal traditional size, that's not going to happen with having lipedema and all the other things I have going on. So I guess that's my justification for checking out Shein from time to time. If this video was interesting to you, helpful to you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around and subscribe, that'd be great. Ring the bell to be notified when I post more videos. I know I don't post a whole lot. It's simply because I am a full-time working woman and I'm also full-time disabled. So it is very hard for me to film, especially try-ons. So thank you for your patience and hanging around. I hope that you enjoyed. Please leave any feedback or questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer anything I can. With that, I am closing out.